What is the impact of this six-day lockup of the Ever Given? Well, thank that super moon. But yeah, it's crazy because if you start looking at the Suez Canal specifically, it's like 12% of global trade. It's like $9 billion worth of goods go through that canal every single day. So six days is a big deal, but I think it really shows a spotlight on is the fact that supply chains are already stressed, Maria. Um, if you start looking at just globally right now, I mean, you literally have ships that have been sitting out in the water waiting to get into ports for weeks, and that's before the Suez Canal issue even came up. Um, yes. But the other thing to look at, too, is what does this all mean? And it means one thing that we've been talking about week after week, and it's just so hard when Dennis Gartman and I are so right, and that means that it's stress on commodity prices. Um, if you start looking at the stats right now, like Australia has its highest input cost, uh, input cost ever. You look at the Purchasing Managers Index, it's at the highest level ever. Producers Price Index, you know, higher than the Consumer Price Index. And I have to think these very benevolent companies, they're not going to eat those costs. They're going to pass them on to you and me as the consumer. And if you think about, you know, extrapolating out the rest of the year, the one theme, too, we talk about all the time is we've got so much money. <coughs> the economy is reopening. We're going to spend that money. And that's just going to put more and more pressure, which is going to exacerbate these supply chains even further. And what blows my mind is you have the Fed chairman saying that, you know, inflation right now is not going to persist. It's almost like let's not look at the pink <laughs> elephant in the room. It's not here. Don't look at it. It's nowhere to be found. And the reality <laughs> of it is I think that's what you have to yeah. start to account for in your portfolio. So. It's inflation yeah, I think coming you make a really good point because we're talking about higher taxes coming at us. Now we're talking about higher commodity prices coming at us. Uh, we've already seen big moves in like table, you know, kitchen table things like orange juice and food supplies. So it will get more expensive. I know that's one of the reasons that uh, Dennis just said to us to be careful.